pureness of sensation gives meaning to aesthetics. Attention to the smallest detail. Observing the nuances. Is the desire to imitate the perfection of nature. Beauty can be perceived by contemplating the essential with one's eyes. Handcraft is a human art. which machines and products, software and computers cannot replace, but only support. This consciousness that stems from our authenticity our homeland our nature is the prideful vocation of being a dental technician we share what we do. Dental technician goes beyond technology and progress. It implies the awareness of tradition, profound experience, and dedication. Pureness of sensation gives meaning to aesthetics. Attention to the smallest detail. Observing the nuances. Is the desire to imitate the perfection of nature. Beauty can be perceived by contemplating the essential with one's eyes. Handcraft is a human art. which machines and products, software and computers cannot replace, but only support. This consciousness that stems from our authenticity our homeland, our nature, is the prideful vocation of being a dental technician.
we share what we do. So welcome, welcome to everybody to this um, uh, to this uh, live uh, um, webinar, and uh, we will we will speak today about uh, implant components, the new implant components we have here available in in Zircon Sun. Uh, in the last one year, we change. Uh, uh, not we change, but we implement the normal, the regular, uh, let's say, uh, products we have with uh, some new, some new components. Uh, that's, uh, for example, uh, one of the um, one of the new uh, components we have is uh, uh, the MUA, the multi-unit abutment, uh, in different uh, angulation and. Uh, different type we will see uh, each of these uh, components and uh, also different t bases different t bases uh, also for different uh, type of restoration uh, high high rest uh, t bases that you can cut it you can uh, use it uh, for uh, different high level of tissue and also of restoration and uh, new t bases also for angulated screw channel uh, i i prepare for just just to be clear in the explanation i prepare a, a, just a pdf that you can follow with me uh, we can pass through uh, let's say components real components so you can see the picture of the components uh, just to recognize it better and uh, also we will we will see some screenshots about the software so you can you can also uh, recognize where you can find the components into the software uh, so uh, let's uh, have a look at the uh, the presentation uh, if you if you guys you don't see uh, you can resize also with a scroll and make it bigger if you if you want okay so uh, yeah most of the the presentation is better is based on the new components so means the muas angulated and the new uh, t bases okay that's that's the the the, the focus of our of our life uh, presentation today and I will show you how to use it and how to uh, and how to implement in your daily workflow so uh, basically uh, just to make an overview about the, the components we have the new components uh, we can uh, see that we have multi-unit the multi-unit multi straight so just straight with different height also, and the multi-unit angulated, uh, 70 degree angulated. For now, there is just a 17 degree angulated multi-unit abutment. In the future, maybe will be uh, available also uh, a different angulation for the multi-unit. We will speak also, and I will show you uh, tools and accessories that you, you can find in in Zircon and you can buy just to, to manage everything uh, in a much more simple way. And uh, we will speak also about these new uh, T bases as I, as I uh, spoke with you already. So titanium bases, the, key, uh, the K85 for the sample is the new tie bases, high, uh, much more high than the, than the regular one. And you can also cut this T base a different level, and I will show you into the software how to have uh, a good fitting after you cut it. Uh, then you have the titanium base K80. Uh, That's the, the 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 base for the T base for uh, to have the option 
to uh, move the channel screw and to have an uh, angulated channel screw. And once again, we are speaking about uh, different accessories that we have. And we speak about the model, how to create a model, for example, in our workflow and, and the components for the model, of course. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we are uh, speaking about. So everything is start from the project, okay? Uh, every one of us, when we wanna design something, when we wanna create a framework, a single ground as a meta, we start from a project. So everything is start basically from, uh, from the archive. Uh, archive, so create a new treatment, and then we have the option to choose uh, different, uh, different kind of restoration, of course. Uh, in this case, uh, just to be also much more uh, clear uh, for you, uh, to make it clear, uh, the components, I prepare also uh, two uh, different models one with the multi-unit abutment and one without any uh, multi-unit abutment with the overstructure. And, um, and I mail it. So you can see also from the picture how, how it's uh, running this kind of uh, restorations. So for example, in this case, I select, uh, it was a box up, there was a six implant in the upper. Uh, so six box uh, up elements in PMMA, I mail it in PMMA. And of course, in the option, I select here that I have the scan, uh, the scan body. We were speaking also about uh, the different scan body available we have. And I select just to implement and to finish my project also, I select that you have uh, uh, the gingiva. Of course, the gingiva, when you have implant, we need to select gingiva because uh, our emergency profile is detected on on the surface of the, of the gingiva. So six implant with scan body and uh, with uh, the gingiva selection. So after that you create your own project into the archive, you can um, uh, open the scanner. And uh, of course you can scan directly from the scanner, the model, if you have the model, or you can import the data if you have intraoral data, that's depending on uh, every case. Uh, you have still both options. So scanning directly or import the files into the uh, scan software. Here you see the gingiva. And then of course uh, we implement also with the scan body. And you, you see that here we have the scan body for directly on top, uh, on top of the multi-unit abutment. And in the next slide here, you can see that we have the scan body, the white one, not the, uh, the metal, the lead, but the intraoral white scan body directly on the implants. So of course, also the white one, you can use it also into, into, the, into the models. That's, that's possible without any problem. Uh, so, next one will be the walksup. Of course, I create a walksup. I can create a walksup also with the modifier software. Really easy. So, just load anatomies and create the gingiva, uh, connect the gingiva and teeth together, and uh, uh, just a little bit design on the gingiva, and you have your own walksup. You can import into the into the scan software, and then you have uh, the possibility inside into the CAD software to adapt your works up on the situation you have. So from another point of view, from the front of view, also the works up. And here you can see that these scan body are directly on the implant. And the other scan bodies, are on the MUA, on the multi-unit abutment. And in some of these uh, implant position, I was using the angulated MUA, so 17 uh, degree, and 
uh, in some another one, I just use the straight one. This depending on the case, this depending on the situation you have, you can choose. But uh, let's say that we have just 170, just let's say 170 degree angulated MUA, but the possibility are the possibilities are uh, a lot, a lot, and I will show you also with some slide about uh, uh, the position because uh, if you we have two type of this multi-unit abutment angulated and the engaging is different. So every 25 degree, finally, if you turn it, you can have another position. So you can have a lot of possibility in, in combination, let's say. Anyway, we go forward with the, with the scan from, let's say from a lateral view, you can see our, uh, our walks up <clears throat> and now we make an overview about uh, some components and some multi-unit. <clears throat> I don't know if it's the connection. I can't see anymore my... here okay let's continue once i go to the next one i cannot see anymore uh, i don't know what is happening I'm sorry, I have a problem that after this, I can see it. Okay, and then it's disappeared. Don't know why. Let's try, let's say, let's, okay, here we go. I'm sorry, I mean, maybe the connection, I don't know. Okay, here you can see from this slide the two different multi-unit that we have, the straight one and the angulated uh, multi-unit with 17 degree inclination. But the difference is the lower part of the multi-unit. It's not the, the straight one, of course, that's not a problem to explain. So it's a straight multi-unit. It could uh, usable for large restoration, so with a conical T-base on top or mill straight with a bar or something like that. But the angulated one, the connection, the lower part of the uh, multi-unit, uh, you can have it in type one or in type two. So type one and type two, the X is uh, placed in a different way. I don't know why, but any every time that I'm going to the next step, I don't know why. Okay, um, here you can see from, it's really slow. I don't know if it's the connection, but once I pass through the next slide is really slow. But anyway, let's continue. Here from this point of view, you can see that we have a full arch restoration for example, and in the distal implants, we use uh, two angulated multi-unit abutments, and you can see it. And in the front, we use two straight multi-unit abutments. On top, we can mill straight also a bar in titanium, for example, and then screw everything together on top of our, uh, our multi-unit. Yeah, here is uh, something into, into the presentation or into the line. I don't know if it's the connection. But uh, I, I can see uh, it's really slow, but anyway, it's coming. So here you can see for the multi-unit abutment non-X, um, the, the, the regular multi-unit, straight multi-unit, you can use, uh, of course, screw directly on the implant and on top of the implant, on, on top, of, sorry, of the multi-unit, you can use a conical cemented regular uh, T-base 
uh, or uh, also the, the new uh, T bases that we have available. And uh, you can cement these, uh, these T bases inside into the framework so you can fit perfectly. You can see also that we, you can have it in, uh, in gold, plated gold. So it's much more uh, biocompatible. And uh, you can have also in different height. So you have five different height for the shoulder of the multi-unit. So you have a lot of possibility of connection depending on the position of the implant. If it's really deep or if it's high, you can switch between one uh, or other uh, type of multi-unit. Now we wait for the loading of the next one slide. Yes, here we go. And uh, now here you can see the angulated uh, multi-unit. Uh, you can see from this section of view how it uh, work basically uh, the multi-unit. So basically we have a screw and you can screw directly into the implant from this side. And then the, the, the top of the multi-unit have another screw, which is screw from the side, let's say from the palatinal surface probably of our uh, situation. So you can screw uh, the T base or the bar or whatever uh, directly on the multi unit. And of course, the X, the X, you can use it for single crown. So you, you have uh, uh, an anti rotation of X on top, and you have uh, also available in different colors, so uh, in, in gold plated, and uh, that's much more biocompatible, and in different. Uh, gingival height. So you have two, in the case of angulated, you have two different height of the, of the multi-unit. Here you can see from this slide, you can see uh, how it, uh, I, I, I already explained to you, but here you can see it better. So you have the type one and the type two. That's about the, um, the the multi-unit uh, angulated, for example. And you can see that here, the connection, the X of the connection, the top of the multi-unit is the same. It's exactly the same. The same size, the same shape, etc. But the X on the bottom here, that is the, my connection into the implant, is a little bit tilted between the type one and type two. So basically is, um, uh, is 30 degree difference between the X. So you can have a lot of position, a lot of different position. Uh, just every step you can have like 30 degree of the different position of our multi unit. Then uh, next slide, you can see that the, the, the connection type, type one and type two, you can have it the top, you can have it triangular, you can have a square, and you can have orthogonal. So depending on the connection you choose, you have 60 degree, you have 45 degree, and you have 22.5 degrees. So you have a lot of possibility uh, of, of this uh, position, let's say. I'm sure 100% with all these choice that you have, you can find the right uh, angulation in the right position for your case. And the advantage, the really, really big advantage is uh, for, for Zikonsan user, of course, is that uh, you can find all these components directly into the software, into the library. I will show you later in some slide uh, how it's running directly from the library into the software. Here you have an overview about uh, the MUA, but not just the MUA, you can see that uh, also uh, you have uh, the impression copying, for example, just an overview, a quick overview about the components that you can uh, buy in Zirkonsan. The impression copy for regular impression, of course, the laboratory analog, the regular analog, and then you have also the scan analog. The scan analog, you can use it also directly on the impression and you can scan it to have the position of the implant or you can use the scan analog directly on the model inside into the model as an analog 
uh, let's say as an analog as a model as a analog into a model that you mail or you print okay that's basically for the digital for the digital workflow and uh, of course the laboratory analog the regular one is for plaster models then you have the three different uh, scan bodies so the regular one and the white one and then you can find here something also new that I like a lot is the white metal scan body. Uh, the white metal scan body, you can see we have a connection. There is a connection in, in metal. It's a piece complete. The upper part is treated, is treated plasma treated, and the surface is not uh, shining. So the surface is really, really nice to scan with a bite intraoral scanner. And the connection is in metal. Uh, so it's much more safe to have this connection in metal in titanium, and this, the upper part is uh, is treated, uh, the surface, so it's gray and treated, so it's much more easy and safe also for intraoral scans. Then you have, of course, the uh, different uh, uh, healing caps uh, about the multi-unit abutment. Of course, the straight one, gold and regular, and the angulated uh, gold and regular. Then we speak about the basis, the regular basis that are already available since a long, long time. So the regular T basis, conical or parallel, the narrow T basis, uh, and in gold the same. Then different screw, of course, different screw for. Uh, for metal or for zirconia. We will see also later which one is indicated for zirconia, which one is indicated for metal. From the slide, you, you can see better. So then we pass through to the CAD software, to the Morelius software, and you can see, so uh, starting from that part that we scan or we import uh, the data inside to the scan software, we can start to design our framework inside into the model here. And of course, you can, uh, uh, as a first step, you can have the choice or the option to choose a different implants. Uh, different implants and different scan body that you, uh, is supposed that you was using for this case. So inside into the library, uh, here of our uh, modeling software, uh, you can have uh, on exactly on the left side, the first choice you have is the selection of the implant company. So implant company is the first choice. I will select my implant company. And then I have the second one in, uh, uh, in the left is uh, the implant uh, system. So the different implant system that this company have, you can select it. And then you have the implant size related to the system that you choose. Then we have uh, here in the center, we have the abutment type. So you can choose a different uh, connection. So starting from uh, titan basis conical, or titan basis parallel, parallel with anti-rotational or no rotational uh, for the conical. So uh, then you have the choice also to, to select directly screw. So it means that you don't, uh, you don't wanna use any, any kind of uh, T base, but you wanna screw directly on top of the, of the multi-unit or directly on top of the framework uh, without any connection. Let's say that we, of course, we recommend like it's the much more safe uh, way to build up a framework, in my opinion, probably the, the, the much more safe way to build up a framework is, in, especially for cool arch, is to have a bar, a bar and the framework on top of the bar. Uh, but if you want to, make it directly screw, uh, let's say without, uh, without um, a T basis, you can do it. So 
then here on the bottom, you have also the option to choose uh, between different high of the T bases. So you can see that we have L, for example, 15 and L20 and 25 here. And here you can choose uh, the height of the T base that you wanna uh, use it. Then here on the lower part, you can choose, uh, for example, the type of the uh, scan body that you uh, suppose that you was using during the scanning. So if you are using this kind of scan body, the scan body of the lab, the triangular one, or you have the choice to select the white one or the white metal, the new one, okay? Then you have here in the middle, uh, that's, that's something also interesting, maybe not everybody know that you have the option to select ceiling tree. The ceiling tree is, when I select ceiling tree, I get the option to have the ceiling inside into the framework. So I can just screw inside into the ceiling like a, like a, yeah, like a, like a ceiling uh, treat inside in plastic that you can mill it straight from the milling machine and you can cover really, really accurate the channel screw in there. Okay, so let's go into the next step. Then here you can see for the sample that we select uh, titan base parallel is not anymore, just to show you the, from the picture, is not anymore the conical one, but is the parallel one. And you have also different kind of uh, parallel T base with different height. And the, the shoulder is different, with the different height of the shoulder of the T base, or like, like we spoke before, directly screw on the inside. Then if we choose, like here, we, you can see directly screw, you have X or no X, and you get just the screw. So it means that you have no uh, interface, you have no T base in, in between your framework and the implant connection. Then uh, if you choose the conical one and the standard, you have, of course, also here, the different height of the, uh, of the shoulder of the T-base, the regular T-base, let's say. Then the narrow T-base, you can see the narrow T-base from this uh, picture is uh, the, the shoulder is not coming out, let's say at 45 more or less degree, but it's really straight directly on the connection of the implant. And that's something also that not everybody know that we have also this option in the library, okay? So then we are coming to the new, new, new T bases. That, the, the basis that we see till now was, let's say, the, the regular T bases that we have available since a long time. Now we are coming to the uh, new T bases that was implemented one, two years ago. And uh, let's say the K, the K, uh, 85 is the large T base that you can use when you have large uh, crown or large bridges just to be safe. And you can see that you can, you can cut it in a different level. And if you choose here, height, for example, five, I four or whatever, and you can select it and automatically will be fit when you cut the T base at that level. So it's really, um, let's say flexible this T base because it's coming really large, but you can also cut it uh, in a different level. So indirectly also into the software. So once you know that you select for example here 4.5 and you know that you have to cut it on the first line here, you cut the T base and will fit perfectly inside into the framework. Okay, so that's that's a really really easy to manage and really flexible related to the different framework we can have into the lab. So high or not so high. Then the other new T basis, so the K80, is the T basis that have is open. You can see from this picture is open from in one side, and you have the option to. Uh, to inclinate the channel screw. So I have different inclination up to 30 degree. Uh, it is possible to angulate this, uh, 
this chain of screw coming out from this T base. Of course, there is a special screw uh, which is rounded, and the screwdriver is also round. It's a different one that allow you to come inside into the frame, into the base, angulated. Is is engaged also when it's not straight, but is a little bit inclinated to the screw. So that's that's the the K eighty five. And you have also here the same, like the K80, a different possibility to cut it in a different level. Okay? That's interesting to, to, to know that, that we have these, uh, these options. And uh, of course, the regular conical and with the white metal scan body or with the regular uh, one, the white scan body, the regular, and now the scan analog. The scan analog is another option. As I told you, you can use the scan body regular. So means that you put the scan body on top of the implant to detect the position of the implant, or you can use the scan analog and screw inside into the impression copy, for example, or into a framework, a prototype to detect the position of the implant, okay? And you can use the scan analog also inside into the inside into the model as an analog. The white metal uh, scan body. So the white metal is the new uh, scan body, which is really really nice scan body. And uh, yes, here you can see when you wanna with a new model of software, uh, you can download let's say the library, part of the library. We don't need to, uh, to download uh, all the implants, all the components. So really easy uh, when you need uh, some new components or some implants, you are going into more here and you can find library. And then from there, you have the option to download libraries. So download the libraries means that you don't download all the implant components with the different companies that we have inside into the uh, library, but you download just the one that you are using or a few, let's say a few implants that you uh, are using normally. It makes no sense to download completely the library because it's really heavy library. So uh, that's make really no sense. So you just select uh, from here, from the center, the type of the, the, the type of the uh, implants but also the company and then you just click on this uh, button here and you can download directly then uh, once again the white one and the conical t base for this kind of restoration and then we are moving into the next step so I select conical, of course, because it's a large framework with the shoulder really uh, not so high because it's close to the border of the gingiva. And then I align my scan body digital to the scan body coming from the, the scan. That's, that's the step really, really important to follow accurate. Uh, you can see that here I was selecting also ceiling. You remember that I talk about the possibility to have the ceiling thread inside into the framework. So the software show you directly this ceiling and you can screw in directly this, this thread once you smell it, uh, really easy. To fix, fix the real screw because it stopped directly on the head of the real screw and uh, is still really, really accurate all the channel screw. Uh, then, of course, the, the possibility to draw, uh, let's say, the uh, emergency profile of the implants. Here, depending on the situation, I draw the emergency profile one by one, and then I have the option to manage this area around the implants in a different way, it is not directly connected to the, to the, to the implant, but I have some more option to, uh, to manage this area around the implant. That's the sense to create the 
emergency profile into the CAD. So here we have the option to uh, manage, as I told you, the, uh, the emergency profile around the implants. And, uh, and we, we can also change here from modify the inclination of the channel screw. And here we can manage the border, we can make it uh, more pressure into the gingiva, less pressure, concave or, 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 or convex, uh, as you want. Uh, you can manage all the, these things in this step. And you can see that this kind of restoration without any multi-unit directly with the connection, the holes of the implant, they are coming from the vestibular area. Most of the, the framework, like just this implant is more or less occlusal, the rest is, everyone is out, okay? And let's say that uh, if we want like to uh, move it, we can move it. Let's say manual, we can move the channel screw, but the problem is when you, when you reach with a normal connection, without any, uh, any multi-unit abutment or without any T-base open it, like the new one, and you get like 30 degree inclinated channel screw, the milling of the framework, let's say we have a dude, we have really a dude that this, this area is milled correctly. Most of the time when it's more than 60, 80 degree, the connection area with the implant here, this area is not, uh, is not accurate mill. Okay, so you can see it from this point of view and to this one. Here, it is impossible manual to change this inclination. So we have basically two options here. Or we are using a multi-unit abutment or we use uh, the base, the basis open it, but with a dude with a uh, basis open it because uh, yes, we can move the inclination up to 30 degree. Probably here we are able to do it, but if we have a really deep implant and we have room enough for the MUA, for the multi-unit, that's my, let's say, um, preferred uh, choice to use a multi-unit abutment in the in between. The framework on top, and you can see if I go straight without in, move the inclination of the channel screw, I have the channel screw coming out vestibular. Okay, so you can see it, and I I was meaning also like that just to show you. Now we we would like to see with the multi unit seventy degree what is going on. So once again, we have the same uh, framework, but uh, with a multi-unit 70 degree. And you can see from this slide, the inclination of the channel screw coming out straight from the implant connection and the position of the multi-unit 17 degree angulated. So now we have this channel screw, original, and you can see that we select here zircon some multi-unit, a multi-unit abutment, and the regular T-base, so the regular conical T-base with a regular, let's say, scan body also. And then that's, once again, that's really important, this step, control, every time the color, the matching color between the digital and the scan, it, scan body, that's important to be sure about the fitting, okay? That's, that color, the blue one is close to zero. So means that is really accurate, the matching in this case. The framework, and you can see from here that uh, right now, uh, the framework and the channel screw are always coming out from the multi-unit all the channel screw are coming occlusion. So 
I have not any more problem about the channel screw uh, position, let's say not a good position, okay? So, and then we mill uh, the framework and about, about the multi-unit screwdrivers and components that you can use it, uh, accessories that you can use it. The screwdriver for the multi-unit abutment, so is a special screwdriver which engages directly on top of the multi-unit and really easy you can screw it in. This, this, uh, this is the implant screw and, and it's also uh, an ins insertion tool. So you can see also the insertion of the multi-unit. Once you put it in the mouth, you can see more or less how it's coming out the channel screw and where is coming out. Then the conical cemented titanium base, non X on top of the abutment, of course. That's uh, our, our T base on top of the multi unit. Then we speak a little bit and we will, we will have a look at the new T bases, also from the pictures, just to, to, to see. The K85, as I told you is the, the, the base, the large T base. Yeah, some problem with the connection. Anyway, the K85, it's a, uh, and now let's work. It is the, the T base, uh, the large T base that uh, you can cut it in a different level. Uh, you have five different positions where you can cut it. And uh, basically, uh, in the, into the software, you get the possibility to choose the height that you want, and then you can. Uh, you can cut that level, and after you mill the framework, we will fit perfectly at that level. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's say that here. Just wait. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue from the from the from the uh, the card part. So, uh, but with a with a different T base, just to show you into the software how it's work with the different uh, uh, T bases. So here you see the K eighty five with a different height. You can select as I told you before, and then you cut at the different height that you choose here, and we will fit perfectly. The K80 angulated is the other one, a T base, the one that you uh, can move the channel screw and make it uh, angulated. I think is maybe the connection is not so fast here. I will try to stop it and restart. Uh, Maybe, okay, that's good. Stop and restart the presentation. So you can see that when, once you uh, select here, the K85 uh, T-Base, you have the same option to cut it, but in the T-Base is open, as I speak to you before, as I was explaining you before, it's open from the Palatina normally surface, of course, and then, uh, you are able to uh, 
to move the channel screw with a different inclination. You can see that here uh, is, uh, is named angulate screw channel D 2.9. You have to remember this size of 2.9 because when once it's finished the framework, you need to match and to choose in attachment, you need to choose this size, exactly the size that you can see from here. And you can match the different, uh, the different uh, inclination with the attachment just to have the channel screw correct. So here, uh, of course, like usual, I select my implants, I align my implants uh, up to everyone. Sometimes some moment we stop it. I don't know. We will try once again to restart. Okay. Try it. Okay. So the framework. And you can see every implant. So I was selecting this T base, this special T base, angulated. Okay. And uh, then once it's completely finished the framework, you can see also under the, under the framework, below the framework, you can see the T-base here, open it in the Palatino surface. Um, once uh, you can see also from here, okay. And then once it's completely finished, merge the framework, we can, in freeform modulation, this is uh, our freeform, at the last step, we can choose attachment. And if you are choose, you can see this is, this is this small channel screw is the original, uh, let's say, uh, channel screw. If you, we choose attachment and then in attachment, you can, you have the option to, to align. I will show you in a few minutes. I will make a just a break and I will show you uh, a video, okay? Just a video about uh, our, uh, our um, let's say, courses that you can have here, etc. So I will show you a video and then I will be back and to show you the next steps.
Okay, guys. So we continue, and I uh, will uh, we continue with the presentation. And uh, I will hope that this second part will be uh, easy, uh, and it is the presentation is not stop every moment. Okay. So once, as I told you, once you finish. Uh, the framework, the framework is merged, you are going into freeform. And then here into the library in Zircon Sun, you can find the channel screw with a different size and you can select the right size. In our case is 2.9. I select the channel screw and then I will merge and let's say match this cut channel screw to the different inclination I want to use it. So if, for example, here you can see that you can match this channel screw to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 50, depending on you, okay? So you can match it and align. And then uh, once you match by different point, you can select different point and just by the top here, the top area is square, so it's really easy to measure. Uh, you can also see from the color, also here in this moment, that uh, the fitting of the channel screw is correct. So it's now it's completely blue in the 20, the one that I select. And I stamp out this channel screw with this inclination. That's uh, the workflow about the K85 T base. Okay. So remember when you select this one. When you finish it, the framework is merged and you can select the channel screw and you can stamp in directly. So in this way, the connection also, once you, you match, the connection between the T-base and the channel screw is correct. It's absolutely uh, perfect also during the milling without any problem, okay? So for everyone, if I need every one of this framework, I can match. The different inclination, of course, and then stamp the hole inside into my framework. Okay, so now you can see it also from here. We have the chain screw. We was able also by the K85 uh, T bases to manage the chain screw, and we have the chain screw coming out occlusion. Okay, so you can see it also from here. Now it's ready for milling, and I can mill it. So you can see that this is uh, the connection for the T-base inside into my framework. Now we will never look once again up to the uh, bases in the picture. You can see the K85 and the K80. And you can see these lines, you can see it better if you enlarge with the scroll, the picture, you can see you can cut it from here really easy. And also the, the, the screw is round, it's not, uh, the regular screw, hexagonal screw head. And the screwdriver is also round and it's help you to engage correctly the screw. Of course, we can uh, use uh, the model maker to create uh, the models. In, like in this case, I was creating the model and mill the model. I prefer to mill model when once is possible, especially for implants, not to print, but to mill is much more stable for me, when you want to have a really high quality model and up to implants, it's much more better to have it milled. Okay. And the scan analog is fit perfectly one in the holes. So one by one, you, you can have the same fitting one to the other one, like in this case, you can see. So uh, to the next one, so you can see the scan analogs and with the multi unit abutment on top. Then the framework, millet, the one with the multi-unit abutment with the channel screw coming out here, occlusion, and with the channel screw coming out from the vestibular side, which it was the regular one, not connected directly on, to, on the implants without any particular connection. Then the frameworks, you can see that the one that I mill it straight, uh, we have the problem of the channel screw. Uh, it was just to show you that we have the, this kind of problem we can solve in the way that I was 
explain during this uh, uh, easy explanation today. So once again, also from the occlusal surface, you can see the chain screw are coming out in a not uh, easy position. Then with a multi-unit abutment, the same framework, the same walks up, the same position, he was able to manage and to have no problem about that. And as I told you before, the advantage of this is that you, you can find uh, every component inside into the, into the library, into the CAD library. So it's really, really easy to manage. You don't need to order uh, a lot of components. You can, when, when you see the components you need, you can uh, use the code just to order. Uh, here you can see that we can have also from a cruiser surface, the channel screw coming out really, really easy position. And here the two frameworks and the two models. Now we will just have a look about the tools and uh, yeah, some possibility you have with the software. Uh, here you can see that that's an overview about the components, the scan body, regular once again, the white one, the white metal, scan analog, impression copying, regular analogs, healing caps, different multi-unit button type 1 or type 2. Remember type 1 and type 2 is a different connection to the implant. The multi-unit on top is the same, but the connection in the lower part in the bottom is different and in gold or in regular and different T-base, the narrow, the normal one, the K85 open and the K80, the high one, and different height of the normal parallel T-base and uh, yeah, the K80, the K85 parallel. Then here you can see from this big overview, exactly more or less the same. So from this, this area, we have, we have the um, impression copying, the scan bodies, the different scan bodies. And you can see uh, here in this side, we have the multi-unit systems with the different multi-unit straight and angulated. Uh, that's more or less the same like we see before. Then uh, once again, the uh, scan bodies and the different T base and the different screw. That's important to know about the screw. We have different screw. We have basically we have let's say three 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 category. The one rounded that you can use with the open T base uh, just for inclinated screw channel. Then you have the regular one, of course, the hexagonal uh, screw, and then you have also the uh, the screw, uh, let's say, um, with the head flat or with the head conical, depending on the material. We will see later. Here you can see the titanium base, the regular titanium base with a different high level of the shoulder. So starting from the uh, lower one to the high one, to the one to the five millimeters high. Uh, T base. That's the regular T base that was available since the beginning. And uh, let's wait here because let me stop it and restart. I'm really sorry for that. I will try to fix it for the next time. In the meantime, I will um, I will just uh, yeah invite you for the next uh, presentation that uh, we have in the next days. We have Alessandro Cucchiaro, for example, on Friday. We present some case and the light and color explanation about zirconia cases. And we have also the Tor Garcia on day 19 uh, that can present also these cases. Uh, if you wanna, you can join us in that presentation. 
Okay, so uh, about uh, the abutment screw zirconia. Uh, of course, the screw is flat. As I told you before, this is important that the flat area is top on the zirconia, not the conical, because the conical can broke the materials, of course. And uh, of course, for metal, you can use, basically, you can use both. Both, uh, both screw. Here you can see the screwdriver set. You have also with this dynamometer uh, tool that allow you to screw exactly at the right uh, strength that you, you, you wanna have the, the T base or the multi-unit on top of the unit. You have different height of this. This is, this is uh, like, let's say, Different height of the screwdriver, you can use the same base, but you can use a different height uh, screwdriver. Then here you can see an overview about the tool. We have different extractor for the T-bases. For example, when you are not able to extract the T-base from the implant, you can use this kind of tool just to easily extract. The extractor for the ceiling thread, for example, different height of the screwdrivers, the screwdriver for the MUA, for the multi unit, the dynamometer tool, and uh, yeah, that's the, the, the rounded one um, screwdriver, the hexagonal screwdriver. You have different kind of uh, tools that you can use it and you can find into the zircon sound shop. Of course, also the, the, the titanium anodizing. Coloring uh, machine that you can buy, device you can buy, and you can have different color. You can have really, really a large um, type of colors of the titanium. That's a really help sometimes uh, to have these kind of colors. Uh, of course, uh, sometimes pink help or gold help when you have really, really thin. Thickness and help also in the cementation. You can have a really, really good cementation on top of the base. Okay, so uh, in the meantime, I will uh, I will open some question for you. Uh, I will hope that you 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 enjoy this uh, this presentation. I'm I'm really sorry for the slow, uh, really slow uh, step by step. Uh, we will try to fix it for the next time. Uh, I will open some questions for you. I will, I will read your questions, some of your questions, and I will answer you. And I open just a pool that you can uh, have a, a look inside and uh, answer up to some, just some uh, question about uh, if you would like to uh, be contact or something like that. Uh, about the, the, uh, our presentation, if you like it, if you don't like it. And uh, feel free to answer us. In the meantime, uh, I will answer to you uh, some question. I will open just some question. And uh, uh, not, not every, every, every question, of course. Uh, uh, I wanna, yeah. Do we have an, a question in, in Spanish? But I, I can answer. ¿Qué destornillador es José Manuel? ¿Qué destornillador hay que usar para los tornillos de canal angulado? Okay, uh, I will tell you in in English. He, he asked me about uh, which one is the, the the screwdriver that we have to use for the for the angulated uh, T bases. And I already speak about that. We have a special screwdriver related to the screw. That is the head of the screwdriver is round. So you are allowed to, uh, to move it in that direction and really easy to come inside into the head of the screw. Let's say that, that's a, um, uh, one of the question was this one. So I will... Uh, Another question is, uh, yeah, many thanks, Pedro. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. 
Uh, and then I will see uh, right now was coming another question about the software, the software version. So the software, the CAD software I show you in this uh, presentation is the last one. Uh, of course, is the last one uh, model use software. And uh, we right now we, we finish already uh, like everything into the software is the Ploftif, uh, let's say it's called a Ploftif model here. And uh, we have already some customers that they have and they are using this, uh, this CAD software. And uh, I think really, really, really soon everybody can have it. Uh, that's about uh, the question. So guys, uh, I will hope uh, once again that you enjoy this uh, small presentation. Thank you, uh, thank you very much to everybody. Uh, as I told you, join us in the next days with the next presentation and uh, see you. I leave you with a, uh, a video that show you where we are. Uh, you are, of course, you are really welcome to come here to join us for a course or just to, to drink a beer. Bye-bye to everybody.